Good afternoon, welcome to another video. It's Sunday, I'm losing track of where we are on weeks. This is week 11, isn't it? I'm out today in rural Nottinghamshire. I'm just behind Langer Airfield. If you saw the last video, you remember I told you I was involved in a secret project. Well, that secret project was filmed on Thursday this week at Langer Airfield which is just over there to the rear of the airfield and I'm hoping that in a couple of weeks I'll be able to, uh, well within a couple of weeks I'll be able to put the video, some of the video that I shot on that day onto the vlog so yeah, so what we did, we filmed a drag race between my friend Mark at Cafe Alley, his van which is called Henri he's a Citroen and Lauren's van, which is a Renault, she's called Este. So it was Cafe Alley versus Ginger and Blue Coffee. See who could outdrag the other in their vintage coffee vans on the run runway at Langer. It's kind of a Top Gear style drag race, but it was good fun. So hopefully in the next few days, I should be able to bring you the footage or some of the footage and uh, the behind the scenes. So it was quite good fun. I won't tell you who, win, who wins. You'll have to wait and see. So this is part of a perimeter track of uh, Langer Airfield. It's quite a big airfield. Normally it's used for parachuting, mainly. Um, obviously with the lockdown, I presume they're not, they're not doing any parachuting at the moment. And there is some, I think there's a concrete works just over there. In the distance. I'm actually just coming this way, this is one of the, I'm just coming out this way because it's one of the areas where I'm missing a Velo Viewer Explorer Square. So today, this afternoon, I'm hoping to actually bag three more that I've been trying to get in, that I need to get in this area. So yeah, that's the objective of today's ride. <laughs> following this route that I managed to put into Strava. I didn't quite expect to find a, a proper gravel track. Um, I've been on this for, I don't know, a mile and a half. Yeah, I, I thought it might just be a, you know, a mud track across fields or whatever, or around fields, but yeah, it's actually a proper gravel track. I think if you, uh, if you linked this together with a couple of other tracks that I've just seen, I have a, look, a proper look on the map when I get home, I think it could cover quite a big area actually, quite a big uh, off-road route. So I'm just tracking back towards a village called Granby, which I can just see in the distance. And uh, this, what I've done so far, should give me two squares. Then I think I've got about five miles to ride to get the next square that I'm missing on the Velo Viewer Explorer. So here I am now at the end of that track, not the most visually exciting but uh, certainly flat very logical place to put an airfield and today we've got a fantastic sky <laughs> Hotel, restaurant, obviously closed, but what a nice little approach to it. I've got lots of young sheep. So 
another squirt I just ticked off now. Countryside smells around here for sure. So I've got about, um, I think I'm about six miles maybe left to get back to where I've left my van today. And uh, yeah, it should be a successful afternoon. Three squares ticked. So I'm just entering now Colston Bassett. Uh, if any of you guys watching this are fans of cheese, then just here is Colston Bassett Dairy. World famous traditional Stilton cheese. So today is the 31st of May, last day of May. And I just want to mention James Morrison. He's a fellow YouTube cycling vlogger. You'll find him at James Social Cycling. I'll put a, uh, a link down below. He's been riding for mental health awareness for this month. And he's ridden every single day, which he's never done before. And I know he's over 700 miles. Could well be 800 nearly. So today is his final day of riding every day during May. Um, he's got a uh, he's got a charity fundraising page. If you're able, please go visit his site. Drop him a few quid. He's done well, the boy. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind doing that, that'd be great. He's over a thousand pounds funds raised. Be nice if we get him to double his target. So uh, yeah, well done, James. Hope you got an okay today. Final day, mate. Well done. just come off my planned route a little bit. didn't know this was here. But there's a ruined church. So the church we just saw was uh, the ruins, St Mary's Church, which is near Colston Bassett in Nottinghamshire. And from the board outside, I don't know about these things, <laughs> but it dates back to normal times. But yeah, quite interesting. Just coming up now to a village which has an identity crisis. If I show you here on the signs, this village is called Tithe Bay. Got my sign down the road, 
It was spelled different. It was spelled T I T H B Y. And as you ride into the village, there's a crossroads in the centre of it. And on the side of the house there, there's an old AA sign. And that has it spelled differently too. So I don't know why that should be. Obviously has some sort of identity crisis. into a little bit of a trial. The route I'd planned to go actually turned out to be a private track that was gated and fenced off. So it was quite a big detour really. But uh, thanks again for watching. Please click subscribe, ring the bell if you want to get some notifications and I'll see you again in a few days time. Thanks again. Bye.